Hey, we're back. One minute later, they're gone. Welcome back to another wonderful episode of Give It A Shot. I hope Everyone out there is doing wonderful. This has got to be one of the episodes that I've been waiting to do. So excited. Today, we're going to be doing crepes. Now, crepes came from France. And basically what it is, for those who don't know, it's basically a pancake, but thinner. And the best part about it is you could have it for breakfast. You can have it for dessert. You can have it about any time that you want. My fiance said to me, she's like, why don't you do crepes? You haven't done that yet. You know what, and she was, she was right. I absolutely love crepes. Um, we had gone to a resort down in Cancun, Mexico, and they actually had a crepe restaurant that would make crepes all day long. You can just keep getting as many crepes as you want. And they are so great. So, hopefully, you guys will enjoy this. I'll enjoy this. Um, so enough chit-chat. Let's get to the ingredients and what we need to make. These delicious crepes. Alright, for the crepe recipe, we're going to use one and a half cups milk. I'm going to have three eggs, a dash of salt, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, two tablespoons of regular sugar, and one cup of all-purpose flour. We're going to use the butter slash margarine for the pan um, once we combine all the ingredients. Alright, so we're going to crack the eggs. One, two, three. A pinch of salt. A teaspoon of vanilla. I just put a few drops in. two tablespoons of sugar and last one cup of flour and now we stir All right, so you want to keep mixing it until the eggs break and it gets to this nice yellowish pigment. And it's nice and runny. All right, that looks good. So let's get the stove started. All right, so for the crepes, crepes is gonna be on a low heat. So I'm going to take the back burner and I'm going to put it on a five. Put the butter in the pan. We're going to pick the pan up and we're going to turn the pan around. That way the butter gets on the whole entire surface. And we're actually going to pour the mixture in while the pan is up in the air. Um, once that, then we'll put it back on to the stove and we'll cook our crepes. All right, the pan's hot. I'm gonna put the butter in. Spin it around. I like to leave a little bit of the chunk in the middle. And then we'll take on the mixture. And you kind of swirl that around as well. Then you put it back on and you let it cook. 
you'll start to see it change to a more of a solid color than liquidified. You'll see a change. Instead of being more liquid, it's going to be a solid coating. And that's when you know how to flip it over. Okay, as you see, it's pretty solid. And you flip it over and you put it back on the heat. This doesn't need to be on there too long. Crepes can be eaten hot, warm, or cold. Um, we like to have it warm, or more hot. Okay, so that's, that's it. That is your crepe. I'm gonna continue and make the rest of the crepes. All right, so for the crepe, for this one, we're going to just use a little bit more butter. Put that on. And then we're going to put sugar on as well. So we're folding it. You can take the crepe and go BAM! Done. Or you can get a little bit more fancy and make it into little triangles. However you want to do it, however you want to present it, that is up to you. Alright, so I'm going to continue making the rest of the crepes. Um, we have the different variations that we want to try. We got the, the jelly and the cream cheese. We got the cheesecake mix and some other different variations to see which one's going to win. The crepe challenge! So that being said, let me get back to making the crepes. So this one, we're going to add the cream cheese. I'm going to add some jelly. I'm going to put some sugar on as well. We're going to fold it over, BAM! I like to squish the cream cheese down a little bit. And then we'll fold it over. Now again, you can do this, you can do it with strawberries, you know, real fresh strawberries, slice them up, put them on. You can, you know, basically you can make it with bananas, I know people use Nutella. Um, there's all different types of variations that you could use for this. Alright, so for this one, I think we're going to do... Got the butter. We're going to use... I'm going to try peanut butter. Peanut butter and some jelly. Peanut butter and some jelly. Some sugar too. Bam! I'm going to put it down and we're going to make the triangles. Okay. Alright, last. We're going to put some more butter on. I'm going to try the cheesecake. I'm going to add the cheesecake mixture. And some jelly. Sugar just to be nice. Bam! Woo! This one. This one had a lot of cream cheese filling. All right. Think that we're all done here? Let's move on to the taste test. All right. The moment of truth. We got our crepes. They're all finished. 
We got our cheesecake, jelly, crepe. We got our peanut butter, jelly, crepe. We got our butter, sugar, crepe. And we got our cream cheese, jelly, crepe. So let's dig in and see what we think. All right, we'll start with the cheesecake. Bon appetit. <laughs> oh my God, that's good. It's <laughs> so good. Ooh. All right. Let's go on to the next. Okay, not bad, not bad. The butter, sugar one. That tastes good as well. That's my daughter's favorite. And the cream cheese jelly one. Okay. All right. So let's rate the crepes. Let's see which one knocks out the competition. For me, it's a massacre. All right. So in fourth place. Unfortunately, my daughter, I don't like the plain Jane. So, butter, sugar, it's got to go. In third place, third place this time, peanut butter jelly crepe. It's good, but not that good. You're out. All right, so we're down to two. Cream cheese jelly and cheesecake jelly. And like I said earlier, it's not even close. Massacre. The winner of the crepe challenge of these choices is Cheesecake jelly. By far, by far, the supreme winner. So good. So let me know your thoughts. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Which one would you choose out of these? Which ones do you think that you would want to make at home? Let me know. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I did. I have a lot more batter and I'm going to be making more crepes right now. But please remember to subscribe, watch some of my other videos, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Until next time on another episode of Give It A Shot!